Hi guys, it's Happy here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the Royal Enfield. Uh, it has a small problem, it's not a big major problem, just small. Uh, the first problem is the handlebar vibration and the second problem is uh, the tick tick noise from the tappers. And the third thing is what kind of oil we can use. Right. And if we go something more and we will talk about that in the end, end of this video, right? And let's start the video from the beginning. A lot of people have issue with the Royal Enfield handlebars uh, vibration. How we can reduce the vibration from the mirror and the handlebar? We can't reduce the 100% but we can reduce probably 30 or 20%. So how? So you need the handlebar like this. Well, the Royal Enfield handlebars don't have the small rod down here. But if you want to reduce the small vibration, you can buy the handlebar like this one. Right? Because the vibration coming from the motor, from the bottom. And this is the tank, this is the handlebar. And small vibration when the growing up uh, on the top here, it makes the more vibration. Right? and you can't reduce the 100% when you can tie small road down here it will reduce small because this road will help to keep your handlebar on like stable when this road not here this handlebar from this side is vibrate more and this side more when you're gonna tie this one down here so it's going to be more stable not 100% probably it will reduce 20-30% vibration when the 30% vibration will stop here and then it's going to be probably 20% here so, so how we can reduce the more vibration from the mirror you can buy aftermarket mirror like this one a little bit smaller than these ones right and you can reduce probably more than here you can reduce the more vibration more than here right it will help a little bit but if you want to reduce the vibration a little bit more down and you can buy the end bar mirror they are pretty handy they're pretty good you can just turn your head you can see what's going on behind right they're pretty easy uh, the problem with these mirrors, uh, if you drop your bike, they break down straight. They're not pretty good with the variation or in the bush here and there, but they are pretty good looking mirrors, right? But these mirrors, they're pretty handy. They're very nice. So that was the vibration problem. And uh, why the vibration coming from the motor what's the reason reason number one this is the Royal Enfield motor it's a similar like that right so why the vibration coming it's the first of all it's a heavy motor it's a heavy than the normal single cylinder motor right it's got the heavy frame heavy hosing it's got the heavy crankshaft, it's got the heavy big diameter piston, right? And it's not a fast spinning motor as the Yamaha or the Honda. It's a little bit slow and it's got the heavy crankshaft. That's why it's make the vibration. It's, this is a very torquey motor. It's got the more power than the normal high speed motor. It's got the more torque. That's why it's, it makes the more vibration. Right? And uh, the other vehicles like the Honda or some other vehicles, they are the faster than this motor. Right? But they are not as torquey as this. Right? That's why they have a small vibration. This motor has a uh, more vibration so that's the reason if the motor making vibration you can't reduce the vibration at all 
but if your motor is good it's not uh, making so much vibration and then the vibration on the mirror here and there and then the problem in the screws you can tighten all the screw from your motorbike right and then it will reduce the vibration 100% if your motor is good and then whole things is good but you have to tighten all the nut bolts around all the things right even between motor they do the they do the big vibration right i had the v star it has this vibration too so we can't reduce the vibration right so the number third the tick tick noise from the motor what's that noise okay uh why the tick tick noise happen in the motor what's the reason mostly uh when we start the motor in the morning and some people what they do they just give so much revs like they give so much accelerator in the beginning in the starting do not give so much revs right because the motor is not very uh, hot it's cold and when you start your motor you start it and leave it for the couple minute and then you can feel the revs very slowly and if you are hearing the tick tick noise in the starting and uh, it's not sound really good and what you do you have to adjust your tapet so how you can adjust your tapet you have to open all the well, side cover from the motor and you have to see if there is so much play in the uh, in the gear in the we call that gurari in the hindi we call them a gurari if there is a so much problem in the gear in the gurari's you have to adjust those gear right and if you have small ex experience about the motors and you can adjust them by self it don't it's not a big deal if you don't have experience do not try but if you make them more worse you going to break the motor right if you don't have experience don't try that just go to your royal enfield uh, mechanic shop or the showroom and you can ask them they will fix that right but the problem in the royal enfield or the other vehicles like the royal enfield and the harley and the other classic motors uh, just go to their showroom right go to their service center if you are going to outside somewhere else if they don't have experience about the royal enfield they can't adjust them properly right because the royal enfield motor is totally different than the other motor right they can't do so much because i had experience i had i did a uh, small thing with the royal enfield that's why I don't try it yourself right uh if you are in india what happened in india the people bought the motorbike they bought the royal enfield and they thinking that motor the royal enfield is similar like uh, the honda or the other models it is not true the royal enfield is totally different right if the mechanic don't have experience about the royal enfield they can't fix the motorbike properly they can fix they can do but they can't do properly if you want really good mechanic you can ask the people around you you can talk to your friend who is the good mechanic around here and for the royal enfield who has the long experience about the royal enfield and just go to them and uh, always get fix your bike from the same mechanic do not change your mechanic all the time like if you have a small issue and you don't just go to the local here and there if you have a proper mechanic and that mechanic know about your bike right what was happening before and what's happening now and that mechanic know everything and that mechanic will fix your problem straight away right if you have a one mechanic and you believe on that mechanic just go to them right and uh, second thing is 
oil, what kind of oil we can use. Uh, every country have different brands and the different companies. And, uh, some people they don't have experience about the oils and they just drop them any kind of oil in the motor. Even the four cylinder motor have the different kind of oil. The twin V twin has a different kind kind of oil, and the single cylinder has a different kind of oil. You can ask your Royal Enfield mechanic who have a good experience in your country. Like if you are from India, and you can ask your mechanic what kind of oil they will recommend. Use that one, because and then if you are using that oil and that mechanic has responsibility right if I'm saying okay use this kind of oil use that kind of oil and if you tell your uh, mechanic no no that guy told me use this oil so that mechanic gonna tell you no it's not my responsibility anymore right and just ask your mechanic what kind of oil they are using and go for that right but some mechanic also don't have knowledge about the uh, oils then it's tricky and then you have to ask the Royal Enfield Service Center just ring them and ask them what kind of oil they do for that and go for it right and I can't tell you what kind of oil, what kind of oil you can use Yes, ring the service center, ask them, they will also apply you straight away what kind of oil, what kind of stuff you can use. Right? Yeah, some people, uh, even some mechanics, they use the second hand oil. Where is that second hand oil coming from? Uh, what they do, when the people buy the new bike or new vehicle and they do the first service in the 500 kilometer or 1000 kilometer and then they change the oil some mechanics they keep those kind of oil to sell the customer make sure do not use the old oil at all right and what's the reason behind when the company make the parts right when they build the motor and then they put the first engine oil in it uh, they leave that oil in the engine for the 500 kilometer or the 1000 kilometer what happened when the like imagine this is the engine it's not engine but I'm going to explain you right and when I will assemble this engine right and this is the new parts new stuff and it has a small it's not a very smooth at all when it's a brand new when I will do this one or I will put the oil, it will running, it will run, right, it will run. And then all the extra junk from around, it will mix up in the oil. And then in the age, after a couple thousand kilometer, after five thousand kilometer, it will smooth. And then all the junk will stop moving, right. And when, then, when this engine is brand new it will lose all the dirt all the shit all the steel in the oil and that oil is not good at all but some people think it looks good it's all right we're gonna use that oil but because it has the fresh steel in that oil do not use that oil in your motor right always use fresh oil in your engine right so uh, I hope you guys got some idea from my videos from my experience and please subscribe my channel here and if you guys are on the Facebook please like my Facebook page here and uh, I will leave the Facebook uh, link in my description please hit like button down there if you guys have any question or anything please leave a comment to I will try my best to reply you guys and please subscribe my channel and stay tuned eh? enjoy thank you for watching